Welcome, differentiation, KCC 2018, paper 1. The question is here. The equation of a curve is given as y is equals to a third x cubed minus 4x plus 5. Determine a, the value of y when x is equals to 3. b, the gradient of the curve at x is equals to 3. And c, the turning points of the curve and their nature. So those are the questions. Let's go to the first part. Why are we supposed to determine the value of y when x is equals to 3? So this is quite straightforward. You just need to take the equation of the curve and then you substitute the value of x with 3. So y is equals to a third x cubed. So x is 3. So you just put 3 there. 3 cubed minus 4 x x is 3 plus 5 and here you just need to use the calculator this will be a third of 3 cubed is 27 so this will give you 9 this will give you 12 plus 5 this will give you 9 plus 5 14 minus 12 this will give you 2 the value of y when x is equal to 3 is 2 we go to this we go to the second part the gradient of the curve at x is equals to 3 the gradient of the curve so let's write the equation of the curve y is equals to a third x cubed minus 4 x plus 5 the gradient of the curve at any particular point on that curve is obtained by differentiating the function of this curve or the equation of this curve so if you want to get gradient at any particular point on that curve you just need to get the expression that you're going to use uh, to get the gradient and the expression for gradient is obtained by differentiating the equation of the curve so in this case to get the expression for finding the gradient at any particular point of the curve we need to differentiate this equation with respect to x so we differentiate y with respect to x so the gradient given by dy dx this will give know how to differentiate these so when you differentiate a third x cubed with respect to x you get this one will be x squared then differentiate negative 4x you get negative 4 then you differentiate there is a constant 5 you get 0 so x squared minus 4 is the expression for the gradient and this is what you're supposed to use to get the gradient at any particular point of that curve so in this case we are supposed to get the gradient at x is equals to 3 so you just need to substitute when x is equals to 3 so get the expression so x squared so this will be 3 squared minus 4 and this will give 9 minus 4 which will give 5 so the gradient of that curve at x is equals to 3 will be given by 5 Simbo. 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 5 then the last one is uh, the turning point of the curve and their nature the turning points of the curve and their nature so you need to know something about the turning points just draw a sketch here so if you're given that kind of a curve uh, the turning points of the curve are these two that i've indicated here so these so that is the turning point and also this one is the turning point so these are the the turning points the turning points of the curve at turning point of the curve the gradient is always zero so at these points where the curve is turning the gradient is zero at this particular point so that is what you're going to use so let me write it here that at turning point of the curve gradient is equals to zero so we already have the expression for the gradient of the curve and that is what you're going to equate to zero so uh, we have the gradient here so gradient dy dx is equals to x squared minus 4. So gradient, gradient is here. So dy dx is equals to x squared minus 4. So at turning points of this curve, this gradient is equals to 0. So this will give us the value of x or the x coordinate at the turning point. So when you do this, we get the x coordinate at the turning point. So x squared minus 4 if you factorize this you get x plus 2 this is a difference of two squares x minus 2 is equals to 0 
So this will give you x is either 2 or x is equals to negative 2. Alternatively, you can also work it out like this. x squared, so from this, um, x squared minus 4 is equals to 0. So you can take negative 4 to the right hand side, you get x squared is equals to 4. Uh, x will be given by getting the square root of both sides and you get the square root of 4 will give either positive or negative 2. So you have two answers, either positive 2 or negative 2. So these are the x coordinates at the turning point. To give now the full point, you need to get the y coordinate, the corresponding y coordinates of these turning points. So how do you get the corresponding y value? You just use the function of the curve. Remember the function of the curve is given as y is equals to a third x cubed minus 4x plus 5. So you just need to substitute. So when x is equals to the first turning point here, 2. So y will be what? Just substitute a third 2 cubed minus 4 2 plus 5. So therefore y will be you just work out this one using a calculator so when x is 2 you get y as negative a third negative a third so you have the point now you can write the point so when x is 2 so the point the first stationary point or the first turning point so if that was a stationary point will be 2 negative a third so the second one you obtain it when x is equals to negative 2 the other x coordinate so just substitute y is equals to a third the negative 2 cubed minus 4 negative 2 plus 5 and this one using a calculator again you work out this one using a calculator you get 10 and a third so again you have the x coordinate and the y coordinate so the point the turning point will be negative 2 and 10 and a third so now you have the two turning points of the curve 2 negative third and negative 2 10 and the third having those two points now you need to determine their nature remember the question is about you find the turning points and their nature what do you mean by getting their nature you need to determine uh, whether one the points are maximum points minimum point that is what we mean by nature of the points minimum point or either they are points of inflection so these are the three description of the nature of the turning points a turning point can either be a maximum point it can be a minimum point or it can be a point of inflection we're going to investigate the first one and to investigate whether a point is either maximum or minimum uh, this is something that we use if you want to know uh, the best way and the easiest way is to get the second derivative so if you get the second derivative and the second derivative is given as uh, d squared y over dx squared if you get the second derivative as positive then that will be a minimum point that one will be a minimum point if you get the second derivative as negative that will be a maximum point and if you get the second derivative is zero that will be a point of inflection so this is how we investigate the nature of any stationary point you know how a maximum point looks like our minimum point minimum point just to sketch a minimum point will look like that like a u maximum point will look like this in case you are required to sketch then the point of inflection uh that looks like this or maybe you may find it like this so if you find uh a point or the sketch of a point like this uh, the first one that is a uh, minimum point takes the shape of a u then if it is a maximum point take the shape of an n then point of inflection number three either it looks like this or like this now let us go and investigate our points the first point the first point is uh, two negative a third the first stationary point two negative a third 
two negative that we want to investigate this point know whether it is maximum minimum or point of inflection get the second derivative the first derivative we got it after we got it like this the first this was the first derivative so the second derivative we differentiate again and this one will give uh, 2x so this is how we get the nature the x coordinate of this stationary point x is 2 so you just substitute it here 2 then x is 2 so you get this one as 4 so 4 is positive 4 is positive 4 is positive and if it is positive it means that that one is a minimum point that is a minimum point we just said here when you get the second derivative is a positive that is a minimum point so this point is therefore a minimum point that one is done let's go to the second one second one is a negative 2 10 and the third negative 2 10 and the third negative 2 10 and the third so again we get the second derivative so the second derivative is 2x that is expression for that so when x is negative 2 we take the x coordinate of this stationary point when x is negative 2 just substitute x is negative 2 this will give negative 4 when you find the second derivative is negative that one becomes what maximum point as negative if it is negative this is negative 4 becomes a maximum point this here second derivative is negative so this one is therefore maximum point and you've done the question symbol, symbol, symbol. and you've done the question so we have calculated the stationary point or the turning points and also we have established their nature and that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question